Come on now. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. Let me see what I got going on here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Glad y'all are here this morning. Welcome to the Everyday Until Dynamic Devotion and Prayer. Let's get this going this morning. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Glory to God. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. How's everybody doing this morning? Welcome in. Welcome in. Y'all know we do this every day. Every day until 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Again, we're glad y'all are here on IG, glad y'all are here on uh, Facebook and the phone call. Uh, I'm excited today about what the Lord has for us. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited just because it's Monday. How about that, right? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, listen, do me a favor. Like, comment, and share. Make sure we get people on this morning with what's going to happen uh, in your life. The excitement that I got, what I'm going to give you, I promise you, you're going to really enjoy it. All right, come on, like, comment, share, and tag. Do that for me, like, comment, share, and tag. Also, additionally this morning, uh, what I want you to do is be happy about it, all right? So come on, let's enter into his course with Thanksgiving. Let's enter into his gates. Come on, we come in with praise. That's the hearts, that's the thumbs up. Uh, that's pressing a button if you're on the phone call. Come on, that's how we enter in every morning. Every morning, make sure that you do so. All right, listen, if you're here this morning live, if you're here this morning by call, uh, glad that you're here. God bless you for making it happen. Uh, listen, y'all, make sure you put your city, your state uh, that you're calling in from. We do that because we believe that the precedent has already been set. And since God is no respect of persons, what he do for one, he's willing to do for the other. And therefore, we remember that Sodom and Gomorrah would have been saved if there had been one righteous in the city. So one righteous would have saved it. So uh, we're going to believe that one righteous in every state. We're believing for an ambassador for every 50 state and the provinces. And we're also in faith believing God that we're not just going to stop at the state. Come on in. I see y'all. Uh, we're going to go as far as we can all the way to every household. We got to believe that there are intercessors everywhere and every place getting ready to make this thing happen. Come on. One can chase a thousand, but two can put 10,000 to flight. That is the multiplication. That is an exponential uh, work that God does, and so he can do it through us. And we're going to do it through the power of prayer. He says, we, he knows what we have need of before we ask. But he says, when we ask, we ask in error. And so here, we're making sure not only we're not asking in error, but we're using his word. We're speaking in agreement with his word, homologia. We're speaking in agreement with his word, the unity of our faith with the faith of the Lord. A threefold cord cannot be easily broken. And we understand that this is the work of the Lord. Come on, somebody give him praise for it this morning. Come on, let's go. When you come in on the wall and you see somebody that you know, let them know. Let them know how glad you are to see them this morning. Tell them good morning. Uh, tell them, listen, I got a word for you. That, that word is, <laughs> I'm glad to see you this morning. Get up. Wake up. Wake up. Let's go. This is that time. This is that moment. If you see somebody new on the wall, those of you that are new, we call this being on the wall as if we were in the city of Jerusalem there in Israel itself where they wake every morning you can see it it's a it's a mass of people actually it's all day but there are a mass of people especially in the morning those that rise early and they pray on the western wall which is the holiest of holy walls it's the back of that area of that section of the tabernacle the temple that was created tent of meeting that was created called the holies of holies the outer court the inner court and the holies of holies and so we're on the wall huh is that right y'all we're putting names on the wall we put prayer requests on the wall if you have a prayer request place it in the wall a praise report let us know we got several praise reports prayers coming through we got several opportunities to continue to intercede in prayer and then if you have a prayer request that uh, that's personal you feel is deeper one of the leaders will paste uh, that link on the inside of the comments there for those of you that are on the call uh, you can send an email to admin at amazingchurch.com later you can't forget that 
So I want you to know that we made provision for you. We're ready for you. It's time. It's time this morning. It's the every day until. We've been praying since it started. We've been praying every day until. We are praying the, that the quarantine was lifted. We prayed uh, that we would flatten the curve. And those things did happen. However, we are not in control of the will of the human being. God has given us that free will. So we can't stop praying. What we thought was going to be a time of intercession has turned into an assignment. And so I want to give God praise for all of you that have been consistent. Remember, we declare that breakthrough is on the other side of consistency. So to the degree that you can remain consistent, you'll see multiplied breakthroughs. And so come on, we've got to make sure that we remain consistent. we got to make sure that we remain in place because this is necessary. As you can see with all that is happening, the last thing that needs to happen is you stop praying. Somebody give God praise and say, I can't stop praying. Come on, let them know, can't stop praying, won't stop, can't stop huh one of the biggest things is making sure that we're not only consistent but we are going to have inspiration that's going to come from the word of god you're going to get motivation that's what this word means to me so that i can use it for the application because the application is what you have to perform all right so listen y'all ready the inspiration is coming out of the word of god i got you motivation coming out of the word of god i got you but the inspiration, you got the inspiration, and you're going to make it happen on today. All right, come on, somebody give God praise for it this morning. Hallelujah. Are we ready this morning? Are we ready? Come on. As we do every day, those of you that are new to the call, thank you all again for being here. We're so honored that you're here. All of us are. Uh, we're, we're a unit. We're a tribe. And listen, the reason why we put in our city and our state is so that we'll also be able to see from all over the world how we're all participating. We're all interacting. It's not just... Now, I lead the prayer, but we're all praying. That's why it's called dynamic devotion and prayer. You get your morning devotion, start your day off, and then you get your dynamic prayer. We're all praying at the same time. Your participation, your comments, your sharing, your liking, your tagging, all of those things. Even your speaking to someone, you're putting this, that is getting your soil uh, ready to receive the word of God. That is getting your heart ready to receive. Amen. So come on, let's give him praise as we get ready to go into this moment now. This is this is that time. I'm ready to give you uh, your inspiration. Are you ready for your inspiration this morning? Come on, somebody give him praise for it if you're ready for it. Your inspiration this morning is coming out of Psalm, the 30th chapter. It's coming out of Psalm, the 30th chapter, and we're going to focus in on verse number 11. Come on. Psalm, the 30th chapter, verse number 11. The exciting word of God is getting ready to come forth. Are you ready for it? It says, you have turned me my morning into dancing. You have turned for me my morning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. I'll read it for you again. Come on. You have turned for me my morning into dancing, and you have put off my sackcloth and clothe me with gladness. All right, y'all. This is what that means for us this morning. It's, it says you. So I want to stop right there with the you. He says, God, you specifically. God did. He's saying you, referring to God. This is David talking. He's referring to you, God, and this God specifically. Then he says, have turned. You've done this. You have turned. You have that turn there is to overturn or to overthrow. So whatever the judgment previously was, God came and turned that thing. He overthrew it. He listen, he overturned whatever the ruling was, wherever the ruling was coming from. Y'all see that? So God specifically, you have done this. You have overthrown. You have overturned for me. You did it specifically for me. Can I just stop right there and let y'all give God praise for him doing it specifically for you? He did it just for you. He knew who you were. He knew what you're facing, knew what you were going through, and he did it just for you. Somebody, somebody give him praise for it. Uh, all right, now we get ready to keep going. He says, did it just for me, my morning. Morning, that word is to sing or to lament. Singing or lamenting. Lamenting is uh, is uh, is intense uh, mourning, is intense uh, ache is intense pain, all right? And lamenting typically in this time was also accompanied by singing. So you're singing sad songs. He was singing a sad song. <laughs> All right, he was he was hurting. He says, you've turned my morning into dancing. Dancing here is not just dancing and moving. This is not the uh, not the shuffle. This is not the electric slide. This dancing here that he's referring to means to 
twirl. So you know how it is when you get to dancing and it's you're so happy, you're excited that that dance is not something that you have uh, designed or choreographed. You just, just begin to turn around in circles because you're so excited and so happy about it. So this is more morning. You turn my, my singing, my lamenting into dancing, into twirling. Uh, you have put off my sackcloth. You have Sackcloth is a garment that is used to indicate one is praying or uh, praying one is in pain or one has been humiliated. He says, you have put off the, my garments of mourning, lamenting, and humiliation. You have taken them off. You have, re, you have removed them. And then it says, and clothe me with gladness and or exchange them for rejoicing. You put you put rejoicing on me. So this is what it's saying. This is what David said. David is declaring that God has and could have only been God, could only have been the one to overthrow him from, uh, listen, from personally, he personally took his deep pain and called him or clothed him, caused him to have a dance, removed his humiliation, exchanged it for rejoicing. Let me give you that motivation again. You ready? Because you, you're ready for the app. I know you're ready for the app. Hold on. David is declaring that God has and could have been the only one to overthrow for him personally, took his deep pain and caused him to have a dance, removing his humiliation and exchanging it for rejoicing. Somebody give God praise for rejoicing. Come on. He's done it. He's the only one that could do it. He's the only one that can overthrow your mourning, your lamenting, your pain, your anguish, your humiliation, and exchange it for rejoicing. Only God can do it. Somebody ought to give God praise for being able to do that right now. Come on. And there, here's your app. Here's your app. Don't you go nowhere. Don't you go nowhere. Here's your app. You ready? Here's your app this morning. Today, y'all know what it is. Today, we're applying God's word today to live life a better way. Today, we're applying his word. Today, choose to dance in the midst of your deep pain or humiliation. Today, choose to dance. Listen, I'm telling you, your physical action will cause your emotional uh, state to have a reaction and it will follow your physical action. If you're sad, smile. If you're hurting, move. If you're broken, get up and dance. Change your humiliation. Change your deep pain. Change your mourning and just begin to dance. How can this be? Because God will change your whole state. Somebody give God praise for it again today. Choose you in the, you're in control. Choose to dance in the midst of your deep pain or humiliation. Folks, that's your inspiration coming out of Psalm 30 and verse number 11. That's your motivation. God personally is going to do it for you. And that's your application. You got to choose to embrace what God has already done. Come on. And what did he say? Change today. Choose to dance in the midst of your deep pain or humiliation. Let's give him glory for it. Are you ready to pray? Come on, bless his name. Father, we thank you so much this morning. We honor you this morning. We give you glory this morning. You are the great I am. You are the great God. You are the great Lord. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the great high priest. Thank you, Jesus. You are the leader and the guider. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are the Father, the righteous tower, and the righteous can run in it. The strong tower, and the righteous can run in it. You are the unyielding, unbending. You are the everlasting, the everlasting. And we acknowledge you as being that God, our God, no one like you, no other God. None can come before you, none come after you, and none can stand beside you. So we adore you this morning. We love you this morning. We acknowledge you this morning as our great King, our great God, our great Lord. We bless your name this morning. Thank you, God, for waking us up in this time, in this moment, in this season. You put us in the earth at this specific time. You knew what we were capable of. You knew what we were able to do. You knew us, God. You knew us before we entered into the earth. You knew us, God. You knew us from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. You knew us. You designed us. You put the skin on us, the color, the pigmentation, the melanin, whatever it is. You did it, and we bless your name. We love you for it. We give you thanks for it. You've been so good. You've been so kind. You've been so consistent. You've been so faithful. You've been so reliable. You've been so just. God, we thank you this morning for who you are. You are our God. We worship you this morning. 
You're worthy of it all. We worship you this morning. We bless your name this morning. God, we got to have you. We woke up this morning because we had to get to you. We woke up this morning because you said the day was another day for us. And so, God, help us to complete and fulfill what you put us in the plan to do, what you called us to do, what you placed us in this moment to do. Let us not get to a place, God, where we're just walking and existing. But, God, we thank you that you've given us an assignment. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Every ambassador that's representing on this call, for every person praying and claiming a community, a neighborhood, for every person, a county, for every person, a household, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we bless you right now. Thank you for waking them. Thank you, God, for being good. Thank you for being kind. Thank you for putting them in the mindset, God, to intercede on behalf of those that need you right now. And so, God, we love you. Thank you for being a loving, benevolent king. Thank you for being our great God. Thank you for being the I am. Thank you for being the the sacrifice for us. Thank you for being Jehovah Nisi. You're the one. You're the banner. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for your goodness and your kindness. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Hallelujah. You are the wonderful God. You are the wonderful counselor. You are the great one. You are the majestic one. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Somebody give him glory this morning. Somebody give him praise this morning. He's worthy of it all. We're facing way too much to try to do it without him. And so, God, we need you this morning. We don't just want you this morning. We don't just appreciate you this morning. We need you this morning. We need you just to get up. We need you just to stand up. We need you to move and to have the activity of our limbs. We need you for our mind, God. Keep us in our right mind. Keep us in a space, God, where we just want to get to you so that we can have, God, this intimate, this moment, because your word says for us to come boldly before your throne. So this morning, God, we come boldly. This morning, we come with your word back at you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we enter in because all the promises are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. And so, we're in Jesus this morning. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for us. Thank you for the sacrifice. Thank you for tearing the veil. Thank you for giving us access to the holders of holies. Thank you for making sure that we were reconciled to the Father, for we were his sons and daughters called from the beginnings of the earth. And so we give you praise and glory for it. Thank you, Jesus, for offering your body, offering your life, giving it away, not letting it be taken. And so we stand in the same sentiment. We stand in the same thought process that no man can take our lives. We offer it as living sacrifices, interceding on behalf of the greater. We declare it in Jesus' mighty name. And so we live as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing unto you. Oh God, oh God, great God you are. We magnify you. We give you glory this morning. Oh God, oh God, great God you are. We lift your name this morning. Oh God, oh God, oh great God you are. We praise you this morning. Your word says that you inhabit the praises of your people. We your people today. We your people this morning. We your people, God. And so we give your name praise. We give your name glory. We give you all. All the power, all the honor, all the glory, all the majesty, all of it belongs to you. And we glorify you this morning. Help us, God, in the midst of our morning to be able to understand that you're going to overthrow it, God. And soon we'll be able, right now, choosing to dance, choosing to rejoice. Today is the day that you have made. We choose to rejoice by an act of our faith, God. Even when it's too heavy, we're going to choose by our faith. When it seems like it's impossible, we're going to choose by our faith. And God, we're going to cause our body to do what it's supposed to do. We're going to rejoice. We're going to dance. We're going to twirl. We're going to give you praise this morning. Come on, somebody give him glory for it this morning. Hallelujah. Lord, if there's anything in us, search us, oh God. If there's anything in us, God, that's not right, anything in us that's not you, take it out right now. Help us to stop being the hindrance for somebody else's access to you. Help us to stop being somebody else's hindrance and access to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. So God, forgive us for all of our sin, sins that we are aware of, sins that we are not aware of, things that we have done, things that we have given access. God, we ask now in the name of the Lord Jesus that you would remove it, that you would change it, that you would put us in position. Your word says that you're faithful and just to cleanse and to forgive all unrighteousness. Your word says that when we come and we ask for you, we ask forgiveness of you, that you will forgive us and you will remember it no more. So God, we're asking, forgive us for all of it, God. Forgive us for stuff that we hadn't said, stuff nobody else knows but us. 
God, stuff that everybody else thinks they know. God, we ask that you not only forgive us, but you remember it no more according to your word, and we give you praise for it now. We are asking God because your word says that we have not because we ask not. Your word says that if a righteous man will sin seven times daily, we don't want anything to get between us and you, God. At the time of our arrival, at the time of our ascent, we want to be right there with you. And so we thank you, Lord God. We give you praise for forgiving us for all of our sins, our sins of omission, stuff we were supposed to do that you told us to do, stuff we forgot to do, stuff that we just didn't know we were doing wrong, sins of commission, stuff that we certainly did. It was us, God. It was us in the need of prayer. It was us in the need of intercession at that time. We're asking that you forgive us now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on. If you agree with that, if you want to give him praise for that, come on, somebody, give him glory for it. Come on. This is your time. This is your moment. That's when you send up the hearts. That's when you send up your thumbs up. That's when you make sure that your neighbor know that you're praying and talking to God. Ooh, that's when everybody in your household says, man, they tripping. Give God glory. Give him a holler. Why don't you do me a favor? Stop on your bicycle and give him a twirl. Why don't you put your phone down and just give him a dance. Give him a twirl and praise him. Give him glory for it right now this morning. Hallelujah. This your moment. Come on. This your moment. That's your moment. This your moment, y'all. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. It's your moment. Don't miss this praise moment. Don't miss this time to give God glory. Don't miss this moment. That's the problem with most people in prayer. You think it's just a one-way conversation. No, it is a two-way conversation. And I'm telling you, your actions, your movements, your dancing, your screaming, your hollering. Really? Yes, give him glory for it. Give him praise for it, especially for your forgiveness. Come on, somebody. He's a river in the desert. <laughs> Father, we thank you this morning. Your word says for us to come bolder, for us to cast our cares upon you, for you care for us. Your word tells us, God, to make our supplication, to be anxious for nothing, but everything through prayer and supplication or our asking. And God, for us to ask and not ask in error. So God, we just want to tell you this morning how much we appreciate you, how much we love you. We want to ask you for your forgiveness. And this morning, God, we want to ask that you heal those that are in need of physical healing. Physical healing in their bodies now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Mental healing in their bodies, in their minds, in their emotions. Soulish healing, God. Restore, reconcile. Heal now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Your word says that healing is the children's bread, that we have access to it. And you said that you are our bread, that you are our daily bread, in fact. And so today, God, as we feast upon your word, we declare that our salvation comes and brings also healing and wholeness in the name of the Lord Jesus. We're asking, God, that you make it available, that you make it make them aware of it so they can receive it completely and fully in the name of Jesus. We ask God in Jesus' name that you would raise those that are on the sick bed up out off of their sick bed, those that are on their deathbed up and out off of their deathbed. We're asking God that we know that you're able to perform for miracles. So if a miracle is available, by faith we receive it now. We're interceding on behalf of those that are not even praying. For your word says that you love the world that you sent your son, that he may die for the world. That's not sons and daughters. That's not those that said yes. That's everybody. So God, we like Jesus. We like you, Father. We're created in your image. We're interceding on behalf of those right now that you would give wisdom. That you would give wisdom to those that need and deserve wisdom, God. This morning, God, those that ask, your word says that you would give it to them, that you would not withhold it, that you would God pour it out in a multiplied measure. So God, we're asking that you pour out your wisdom, that you give out your anointing. Your word says that you would pour out your spirit upon all flesh, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, men, women, children, that God, those that are in every place right now, pour out your anointing so that your anointing is given to us so that we can destroy the yoke of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, we declare, we want your strength. Your word says that your strength is made perfect in our weakness and in areas of our weakness. Somebody give God glory. In the areas of our weakness, Lord, we need you to come and give us strength, God. In the places where we can't stand, in the moment of our mourning, God, you did it for David. And since you're no respecter of persons, we have an expectation that you will do it for us. Your word says that it is impossible to please you without faith. So by faith, God, we have an expectation that you would come and be our strength in our time of weakness. That you would come and be our strength in our time, God. That in our time of lament, that you would figure out a way, God, some kind of way that you 
you would come and you would bring us an opportunity to rejoice, that you would show us an opportunity, that you would show us a moment. By an act of our will, we choose to give you glory. By an act of our will, we choose, God, to change our own personal circumstances, God. We're going to change and by our choosing in the name of Jesus. We're asking, God, that you would give wisdom to doctors, that you would give insight, God, to those that are in research and development. God, that you would provide a vaccine, only a vaccine that is going to that's going to cure, that is going to eliminate and or a cure completely, God, to destroy, to eradicate and eliminate the coronavirus and every other virus, God, every other sickness and disease, everything that is not supposed to be in the earth that has been entered in by demonic forces and evil activity. We bind it now in the name of the Lord Jesus as it pertains to those that you, God, have called to yourself, those that you have reconciled to yourself. We declare that we walk in the authority that you've given us. Your word says that we have the power to trample upon the scorpion and the serpent and all the powers of darkness, rulers in high places, principalities and wickedness. We have the authority and therefore we speak those things, God, that be not as though they were. We declare the hospitals, God, will have not capacity, God, for, for people to come, but have capacity in the name of the Lord Jesus. We declare that there shall be vacancies, that there shall be an exiting, that there shall be an emptying of hospitals, that there will be people at home that shall begin to feel better. We declare, God, that people will begin to walking and exercising all over the planet in Jesus' name right now, that there's going to be a shift, there's going to be a move, that we will see the name of the Lord lifted, we will see the name of the Lord glorified, we shall see the name of our God. God, high above all in the name of Jesus. You are the only help we have, God. We need you now. We need you to be wisdom in the minds of decision makers. We need you to be, God, an ever-present help in the places of government. God, we need you to eliminate bipartisanism and, God, put people in place so that we can have a unified unity, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. We need unity. We need people to come together in the mindset. Black people and white people, God. Hispanic people and Asian people, God. Polynesian people. People and Japanese people, Chinese people, Father God, Russian people, all over the world, God. Turkish people, God, Polish people, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we're calling it now. English people, God, Australian, God, people in the Netherlands, God, we need people to come together and pray and intercede, God, on behalf of the world. The whole earth is cranking. The whole earth is groaning in the name of the Lord Jesus. We're asking, God, because your word says that we have not because we ask not. So we're coming and asking, God, give us the wisdom we need. Give us the compassion we need. Give us the understanding we need. And God, this morning, we pray for leaders, leaders in every arena, leaders in every space. Leaders, God, give them a heart and a compassion for people and not a heart for greed. In the name of Jesus, we're asking, God, that you would move on the behalf of leaders, move on behalf of those that are in position to fund and finance, for those that are in position to open up opportunities, doors, for those in position to enact policy, that they would do it on behalf of your people in the name of the Lord Jesus and God. We know that David said you did it specifically for him. So we're asking that you do it specifically and individually for each one of us. And we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise for it. Come on, y'all, join, close this thing out. Give him glory, give him honor, give him praise. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's done it. He's been good all the time. He's been good all the while. He's been good all along. He's never left, he's never forsaken. He's still standing and you have to do the same thing. Let's praise him this morning. Father, we thank you for it. We bless you for it. We magnify your name for it. God, you did it specifically and individually for each and every one of us. We're going to turn by an act of our choosing, God, to dance in the midst of our mourning, to dance in the midst of our lamenting, to dance because, God, our confidence is in you. We love you, Lord. Let our posture, <laughs> let our posture be one, God, of, of honor, be one of worship, be one of praise. Because, God, you're worthy of it all. We love you, and we need you. We give you thanks today. It's in the name of Jesus, Yeshua, the Son and living, soon-coming King, we pray. 
Amen. Come on, somebody give him glory for it. Come on, give him praise for it. Come on, that's Monday, y'all. That's Monday. I can't wait for Tuesday. If the Lord says the same, it's going to be incredible on tomorrow. I just believe that God is putting us in a position that our intercession is not just making a difference, but is the difference. All right? So it is the difference. Stay with it. Be prayerful. Do that application today. Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? Go and dance. If you got to get up right now from your prayer, from the from the, from the the everyday until moment right now, you get on up and you give him praise for it. All right? I love y'all. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining. And, uh, and prayerfully, uh, we'll see you on tomorrow. I'm excited about what God is doing in your life because he loves you specifically and individually. And he already knows everything that has been planned for you because he's the author and he's the finisher of your life, not just your faith. Somebody give him praise for it this morning. Call us. Thank y'all so much. We're honored. Can't wait to see y'all uh, tomorrow. Uh, hear y'all tomorrow. I love you, man. Stay faithful. Be blessed. Hey, listen, IG, thank y'all for sticking with that. For some reason, uh, uh, it started to, to act a little bit up, but you are faithful. I'm telling you, that confidence is going to get you to places that you never thought you would get to. Stay faithful in the Lord. He's ready and he's available. Today, do what? Choose to dance in the midst of your lament, your mourning, and or humiliation. And watch God get the glory out of it and you will be the better for it. Amen? All right, love y'all. Hey, listen, uh, Facebook, thank y'all so much for being on this morning. Honor that y'all are here. I promise you, I promise you, it's a great morning. Y'all want some more of this? Come on. Let me give y'all some of this. Let me give you some of that, huh? Hey, I promise you, I can't wait for Amazing to do this. Those of you that are at uh, different places, different churches, uh, our church, listen, I promise you, it's incredible. Y'all, they this here, hey, he's making rivers in the wilderness <laughs> he's making a way in the desert <laughs> hey listen i love y'all thank y'all so much for being on this morning hey take this with you take this with you no one is in charge of your joy no one's in charge of your, you are in charge of whether or not you will be joyful whether you will be mean and cantankerous whether you will be attitudinal, you're in charge. And so I want you, since you are the authority of you and in charge of those emotions, I want you to take the day and I want you to choose. Are you ready for this? I want you to choose a dance <laughs> in the midst of things that may irritate you. Somebody bother you? Surprise them. Just stand up and start dancing. Make them go, what's going on? Now, don't do a church dance. And, and 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 don't 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 go too don't go too far. Stay 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 right there. Just bounce and turn. You know, bounce and turn. <laughs> Listen, I love y'all. Have a great day. Can't wait to see y'all tomorrow. Be blessed. Thank y'all for joining in with us, man. Y'all are uh, are blessed people. I love you. Be honest.